After 10 years in Minnesota, Matt Dumba is headed to the desert on a one-year deal to play with the Yotes, and for just 3.9 million bucks, it's not a bad deal at all. Dumba has so far spent his entire career with the Wild playing just under 600 games, recording 236 points in the regular season while slotting in 15 in 49 playoff games. Dumba so far has had mixed reviews when playing and has had his fair share of questionable hits, like this past offseason on innocent old Joe Pavelski, where he committed assault on TV against a senior citizen. But he's been a part of the Wild's identity this past decade, and while the writing's been on the wall, it will be weird to see him in another jersey other than Minnesota Green. However, once again, not a bad deal for the Yotes, a little lighter than a John Klingberg at 4.15, and I think I'd rather have Dumba at this point in their careers. Though, with both on one-year deals, they're looking for that next big contract with term elsewhere, most likely in next year's free agency. With this sign Arizona fills out their 23 roster spots heading into camp, and I'm sure there'll be more changes before the season starts, but so far, all the moves made by Gary Bettman's favorite team have been, eh. Along with this one-year deal, they also gave Jason Zucker one worth $5.3 million, with Troy Stetcher and Travis Dermott also getting one-year deals. And the only ones they gave any term to, or were able to give term to, was Nick Bukestad at $2.1 million for two years, and Alex Kerfoot at three point five. million. Arizona is truly a place you go to either end your career, revitalize it, or get an extra line on your hockey DB page when you've already retired. Really, the biggest signing for them is getting Logan Cooley on his ELC and into the lineup next year, and he's great, no doubt, but it's really looking like another losing year is in store for Arizona. I've seen some people ask on Twitter, are they a playoff team? Are they a wagon? No. But it also feels like, once again, they're not going to get a high pick, maybe between 5 and 10 again, and just another year as a write-off. They're such a weirdly constructed team. They don't have a single defenseman signed for them past this year, which is just insane. Functioning NHL teams don't do that. Some guys are RFAs and others have been drafted, but all these guys are fighting for time and contracts. I mean, they do have Coyotes legend Shea Weber still inked for another three years, but we won't be seeing him. That's what I said, hockey DB pages. The Coyotes continue to be an anomaly of a team that tries to prove Gary wrong at every turn, but he loves him so much they'll be here forever. But this all started with Dumbo. What do you think of this deal, and do you think Arizona has had an awful offseason? We didn't even talk about Galchenyuk, but let us know down below.